check in and know you're going to be here. If there are any time you have to come out, take a breath, take it. Marissa's going to be showing you modified versions of it, so if you feel you need to take it, it's all good. Just don't stop this morning. All right, hopefully nobody had a big breakfast. Here we go. We're going to start with our planks this morning, waking up that core right away. We're going to take our elbows, you're going to bring your elbows down. You want to make sure that your elbows are on, or below, excuse me, your shoulders. We're going to walk those knees back, and we're just going to start here to warm up. So you can take your hands, clasp them together, tuck the hips under. We're not cowing here, we're not dropping down our back, we're not sticking our butt out. We're scooping everything in, pulling the belly to the spine, and just breathe. Keeping the chin away from the chest. All right, here we go. Let's bring those toes to the mat. And move so I don't, I have my social distancing. We're gonna scoop out the belly. Bring those knees up. So if your knees are here, you can stay or press into those toes. Tuck those hips under. You really wanna make sure that your belly is pulling up to the spine. Your back is nice and flat by tucking those hips under. So just hold here on this core, and this is a real big challenge for a lot of people. Just being able to hold here is pretty awesome. Keep the chin away from the chest, relax the face, take all that tension out of your face this morning. Hold. We're going to modify and change a little bit here. We're going to tap the knees and straighten. Tap the knees and straighten. It's really critical that you're protecting your back here. We don't want that back to arch and drop. Don't let those hips drop down. Keep everything nice and engaged and long. You got it. Hold everything, come back into that plank. See if maybe you could roll onto the balls of your toes. You're coming forward with your energy. The crown of your head coming straight in front, chin away from the chest for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Quick break, we're just gonna sit up, roll those shoulders, shake out the arms. Oh yeah, here we go. Round two. So, you're going to start in this modified version of getting back onto those forearms, getting the shoulders above those that elbow. Clasp the hands together. Here we go. Walk the knees in. Bring the heels to the seat to start. Scoop out the belly. Then bring the toes to the mat and lift back up into your plank. We're going to cut it to some oblique work here. So, I want you to think about taking a hip and we're just going to rotate the hips to the mat side to side. So, we're going to go drop to center, to side, to center. You're not pausing here, you're just rotating side to side like little windshield wipers with the hips. Really pretend you're a marionette. Somebody is pulling that belly button up to that ceiling, keeping the core engaged, protecting that back for five. For four, chin away from the chest, three, two. For one, come back to plank and hold. You said this was core, Stacy, not shoulders, but you're going to go. <laughs> for five, four, three, two, one. Quick child's pose, press back. Really bring some breath into the stomach. Stretching out those shoulders by bringing those fingers in front of you. Chin away from the chest. Breathe. Good. All right. So giving your back a little break. We're going to come sit on the seat. Bring the feet down in front of you, feet are hip distance apart. Take a light grip behind, we're gonna roll ourselves back. We're gonna straighten the one leg. So you might be mirroring me, so don't worry about right and left. It's just important to know that one leg is straight and one knee is bent. So the leg that is straight, you wanna pull the knee up into the, the thigh. We're gonna point the toes. You're gonna take a clasp behind the head. Keep your head in your hands. So we don't wanna bring that chin into the chest and crunch that neck. I'm talking to my husband here. <laughs> we want to keep those elbows nice and wide, head away. So just keeping the head in a neutral position, we're going to switch. Switch. So our shoulders are off the mat. If your shoulders are on the mat, you're not engaging your core. So exhale, get those shoulders nice and high, but keep the chin away from the chest. Switch. 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 Four at this pace. Keep the low back on the mat. Keep those shoulders up. Let's double it up. Switch, 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 switch. Can we get those shoulders higher off the mat? Can we keep that chin away? Can we keep the head in the hands? Keep going. 20 seconds. 
You got it. For 10, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Quick break, relax the head, relax the neck. So just be mindful when we're doing these exercises. We want to try to keep the shoulders off, chest is engaged, keep our chin away from our chest to breathe. Here we go, round two. Take the hands wide, make a clasp behind the head, keep the elbows wide. We don't want to come like this and bring those elbows by the ears. I see people doing this. We really want to keep the elbows wide, chin away from the chest. Exhale, shoulders up. Left leg is long, right leg extends to the sky. Exhale, bringing the hands around that ankle or behind the calf or maybe just the shin. Exhale, rise up. So really think, can we get our back off the mat, not just the shoulders? Exhale, switch. 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 Breathe. Switch. Switch. Good. Keep switching. Holding. So you're not just throwing those legs up. Really use the core to get the feet to move. Let's double time. Switch. Switch. Take the tension out of the neck, guys. Breathe. Keep those shoulders off the mat. Try to get the back off the mat. For five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Oh, rest the back, rest the head. One more round, one more challenge and change. Light hip behind the knees. Rock yourself up. And bring yourself back down. Okay. Take that grip wide, elbows are wide, okay? Chin to the chest. One leg is straight, one leg is bent. On your exhale, I want you to bring the opposite elbow to the opposite knee. So we're pulling the shoulders off the mat, we're pulling the belly back into that spine. Hold, switch, hold. Switch, freeze. Switch, hold. Switch, freeze. Switch, hold. That leg that is straight is hovering over the ground. Toes are pointed, both legs fully engaged. One more this pace. All right, guys, double it up. Here we go. Switch, 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 switch. Don't forget to breathe. Don't crunch that neck. Keep those elbows wide for 10, 9, burn, 8. You guys feeling it? Here we go. For 5, 4, 3, Two and one. Oh, you can hug those knees in the chest or you're always welcome to find a lot of space, toes and fingers in opposite direction. Hallelujah. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Good. Bring the feet to the mat. Hug the knees in. Light your behind the knees. Bring yourself up to a seated position. All right, here we go. Yeah. We're not even halfway there. <laughs> um, it's vertical. Hold on, I've got some challenges here. It, it, when we started, it was vertical. Oh, that's funny. So, okay. so light grip behind the knees. We're going to pull the belly into the spine, roll the shoulders away, scoop out the belly, and you're going to come down until your abdominals catch. So I don't want you to lean back here. We're not forward. You're really thinking about dropping that belly to the mat, pulling the belly all the way down, finding it. Now, if you have to have a playground ball or a Pilates ball, pillow blanket behind you, you need it, take it. If not, we're going to hold here. We're going to bring the palms up, shoulders roll away from the ears, and we're just going to go back an inch, up an inch, back an inch, up an inch. So we want to think about the knees staying nice and parallel. They're not opening up or splaying out. Be mindful of where your body is. Keep the tension out of the shoulders. Roll those shoulders away. So the abs the entire time are in this little contraction hold. They never get a break. So we're not coming all the way up. We're not rowing. We're staying back at our lowest and coming back an inch and up an inch. Back an inch and up an inch. Good. Keep breathing. Roll those shoulders to the ground. Tuck those hips slightly under. Protect your back. Hold at your lowest position. Take your hands, turn to the right. I want you to take your hands and you can make, you know, knuckles together or clasp the hands, whatever works. 
We're going to think about making the figure eight with our hands. So we're going to hold in that low position and we're just going to start to row, right? We've got that little rowboat, canoe. They've closed all of our public beaches. They've closed all the boat ramps. So we're going to picture ourselves kayaking, canoeing in our beautiful waters. Keep it up. Breathe. Really finding a nice deep twist on the side. Finding that infinity sign. Find that figure eight with those hands. For five, for four, for three, you got it. For two, and one, roll back to the piece in. Welcome, Marissa. <laughs> Wipe your bum and knees, and exhale up. This time we're going to give our back a little break. So I want you to lay on your back. Bring your knees up to tabletop. Bring your hands by your side, palms are down. Roll those shoulders away. Straighten your legs. So, for those of you who are here with me, it's really important to keep the low back on the ground. All right? So we're going to come down for three and up for three. It looks like this. Press your palms in. Pull that belly down. The toes are going to go from 12 o'clock to 9 o'clock. We're going to go down, two, three, and rise. Maybe you're happy just to get to 11 or 10 o'clock. And rise. Down, two, three, rise. Down, two, three, rise. If your low back is coming off the mat, you are going too far for you today. You should never be able to get any space between your hands. You should not be able to get down behind that back. Keep it nice and flat. Down, two, three, rise. So if you're bending your legs, it's too much for you today. I'd rather have you just even going an inch. We want to keep those legs nice and straight and engaged. Down, two, three, rise. One more. Down, two, three, rise. This time we're going to do the opposite. We're going to drop one, rise. Three, four, drop, rise. Three, four, breathe. You had a big breakfast. Drop. You got it. Two more. Drop. Your legs should be shaking. Your core should be screaming at you. All right. Hug those knees in. How are you doing, girls? How are we doing out there? Keep breathing. All right, so this time I want you to lay on your right side. It doesn't matter which direction your head could be mirroring us, it's all good. But we're gonna start, I want you to stay on your forearm so that your shoulder look to make sure that your elbow is right underneath. You're gonna take your feet, you're gonna straighten your legs, take your top foot and bring it in front. Bring your hand on your hip and press everything up to rise. So we wanna make sure that the hips are stacking, we're not turning our belly to the spine, we're not bringing our chest to the mat. Everything is nice and long. We're just going to start lifting that left hip to the sky and you're actually working our inside here. So you're lifting the left hip, getting the inside to rise or moving away from those core muscles right here, giving a little break to work on our side muscles, sculpting and shaping. Hold it here. You're not any pose for more than 30 seconds. You got this. For five, four, three, two, one. Reach that arm up. We're going to thread a needle by reaching and wrapping. Taking that top arm, we're going to thread a needle. We're going to reach and lift. Reach. All right? So think about kind of wrapping and reaching here. Keep that body engaged. I'm eating my necklace. <laughs> here we go. For four. For three. For two, for one. Woo! Quick break. All right. We're going to come into that series again. If you want to take a more advanced challenge and you're feeling it, we're actually going to do it with the arm straight. So Marissa is going to do it with that same series on her forearm. And at any time you need to modify and go to that, take it. But if you can take the challenge, we want to come rise on the arm. Marissa is going to stay on her forearm, making sure that the shoulder and that wrist are in a line. We're going to take that top foot, drop it in front. Again, bring those hips to the sky. Sculpting and shaping the inside right body. Good. Hang in here. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Hold here. Sweep that arm up. Let's hit it. Thread that needle. You're reaching all the way behind you with those fingers and then all the way to the sky for eight, seven, six, you got it, hang in there, five, 
Cross that right foot in front. Right hand on your hip. Press yourself up to lift. Where is your shoulder in relation to that elbow? Make sure you're nice and safe and keeping those hips one on top of the other. Curving and shaping and sculpting the inner left side. Breathe. Oh, you got this. You're so much stronger than you think that you are on a Saturday morning. Come on. For 10, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Sweep that arm up. Let's hit it. We're going to reach all the way behind us and then fingers to the sky. So think of reaching to that wall behind you. Maybe your dog, your cat has found your mat today, keeping you company. For four, for three, for two, and one. All right, quick break. break. <laughs> you know, if I can make Michelle tired, <laughs> y'all are doing a good job. For those of you who are. All right, so for round two here, we already did it on the right, so you totally know you've got this on the left. Marissa's gonna stay in that modified second version of staying on the forearms. Michelle and I are going to take the advanced challenge. We're going to make sure, though, that that, ankle, that wrist and that shoulder in alignment, straighten that left leg, cross the right foot in front. Sweep your body up. So you want to make sure that your hip is straight to the sky. Lift, 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 lift. So that pinch you feel from the inner side of the obliques here, that's where you're feeling the pinch. Yes, girls. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's sweep that arm up. All right, let's hit it. Last one. Reaching and wrapping. You got it. Come on, don't stop. You're so much stronger than you think you are. Ten seconds. That's all you got. You totally got this. For five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Oh, let's give those wrists some love. So. You can take one hand, gently bend the fingers towards the face. We're all breathing heavy. And then fingers down onto the ground. Slow the breath. Slow the breath. Got Give those wrists some love. You could even bring them down. You could turn the wrists so that your fingers are away from your body. Pull the belly to the spine, tuck those hips under. 
here. Come on, girls. You got it. Joe, I know you're watching too, so we got you too, Joe. <sighs> Come on. For four. One more series after this. And one. Press back to child's pose. <laughs> Did you hear? <laughs> Michelle's got one more round. She doesn't know what's coming. She's taking the advanced version for the first two series. I know you messed up. <laughs> Down, two, three. Let 
Here we go. Exhale up. Straighten. Bend. Down. Two. Three. Four. Take a deep breath. Fingers and toes in opposite direction. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Alright, light grip, bend the knees, roll yourself on up. We're going to cross the legs, we're going to come back. A little more plank work to end. Wrap those shoulders in, shoulders under the wrist. Walk the feet back, find your plank. So again, we're not here yet, we're not sticking out, we're not dropping that back down and hurting our back. We're tucking those hips under. We're pulling the belly all the way to the spine, to the ceiling. Hold here. Now, if you want the challenge to end with your morning push, I want you to think about bringing your right knee to that left elbow. Hold. Bring that foot back. Left knee to right elbow. Hold. Breathe. Come back. Here we go. Let's switch. One more at this pace. Switch hold. <laughs> Switch hold. Can we double time moves like this? Switch. Stay safe and stay healthy from our family.